Anthropic just came out with a pretty incredible feature for those of you who are paying for Claude AI, if you've got the paid version, and that's creating projects. Now, the way the projects work is it gives you the ability to create a project and throw all types of files and documents within this project, and you can work in this project referencing all the files that you've put in there, making it really good if you need to work on a research project or whatever it is. In our instances, we use this to create a very detailed SEO strategy for a client. Now, you might be saying, well, I can do the same with ChatGPT, so why would I bother? You know, you can put files into a conversation in ChatGPT and reference those files, and you're technically not wrong. But the way that Anthropic have done this is quite clever, and you might want to take a look at the features that it has. I'm gonna show you all of them and if by the end you like the features that Anthropic have done in this project section, but you can't be bothered paying the $20 a month, I'm going to show you a free alternative, albeit from someone else, but it nearly has the same functionalities. But let me show you how the project features work in Claude AI. If you don't know me, by the way, my name is Nico. I run an AI-powered SEO agency. More importantly, I run an AI and ranking automation community, which you can have access to where we teach you all you need to know about how to rank your website number one with artificial intelligence and how to create very powerful AI-powered automations. I'll leave a link to the description in the video below if you wanna take a look. So if you've got Claude AI and you hover on the left-hand side here, you see all your recent conversations, which you have access to if you've got the free version. But now if you've got the paid version, you should see this projects section here. As you can see, I've already started a couple of projects. I'm going to create a new one here and we're going to create a detailed SEO strategy or kind of detailed SEO strategy for a particular client for this instance. So here, what project are you working on? I'm just gonna name it the client and you want to fill out what are you trying to achieve. This is a client we're doing SEO work for and we want to rank it number one for certain keywords. Nice and easy, I'm gonna create the project. Now, there's a couple of things that you need to notice. Obviously here I can add all of the instructions if I press to add content. And I can add content in two different ways. I can upload from my device and I can upload PDFs, CSV files, a lot of different file types except images I've noticed for some reason. So I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna upload from my device. I've got some information ready to go here. I've got the website context, which I downloaded all of the website content and put it in a very large TXT file. You can see I've already used 30% of the amount of knowledge base that I can put in a project, which isn't too much. And to be exact, I can only add about a 200K context window, which is equivalent to a 500 page book. Not bad, not the best though. We've seen best, better, but, you can access all these files with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which kind of makes, which is real the selling point of this. Anyway, let's add another piece of content, which is a CSV files from all of the Google Search Console data over the past three months for this website, allowing you to provide some ranking insights to Claude AI to this whole project. I'm just gonna try and put everything in here and hopefully it's gonna take everything. It might be too much. Perfect, so I didn't actually use that too much. Uh, perfect, now, the other way that I can add files here is to add context and add a text content. So if you had a conversation, if you've got an email or general thoughts that you wanna add as a knowledge base to that, you can add it here. For this instance, I've just done a quick perplexity search and I'm going to paste the information that all this, that it got from the perplexity search just so I can show you how you can do this. I'm gonna add the content. Perfect, so now I've got all of the information in there that I wanna to reference to create an SEO strategy. I wanna do one last thing though, which I really like about this. I can set custom instructions for this project, which is really handy. So I'm going to tell Claude to act like an SEO expert. I'm just gonna tell it simply to act like an SEO expert. I can probably make this prompt a lot better, but for now we'll leave it as is. I'm gonna save the instructions. Perfect, now I'm kind of ready to go. Uh, I'm going to see if it, it understands all the context. So I'm going to quickly say, read all of the information and let's start building an SEO strategy for this client. I've got a pretty simple prompt, read all the information in the knowledge base and let's start building an SEO strategy. And I hit 3.5 and you can tell that I'm using Sonnet there as well. And now the interface kind of looks mostly like the normal, the, normal, the normal Claude interface, but you can see that it was thinking. It's reading through the analytics. And if we have a look now, it's already understanding 
the background of it and it's actually giving me some pretty precise information. I'm gonna let it go for a little bit and then we're gonna read here. So it's reading the current performance analysis, keyword optimization, perfect. So uh, let's create a content pillar strategy. So we're just gonna create a content pillar document and then we're gonna create a content strategy around that. A really good strategy if you're doing an SEO, a content SEO strategy for your business. Perfect, so it's reading everything here. It's understanding that this business is a Melbourne-based business uh, and it's got content pillar, holistic dog behavior management. I like that and it's got sub pillars under that. Under understanding dog anxiety, positive reinforcement training techniques. This is a dog training business, by the way. I probably should have stated that in the beginning. And it's got everything here, perfect. Uh, I, so I want to do something here that I want to show you is um, create the the content pillars into a document. So by telling it to create this into a document, I can then add that document into the knowledge file system. Another really nice feature that you can't really do with ChatGPT. So I have my holistic dog behavior management content pillars document on the right hand side here. And now if I click here, I can add to current project. This is now being added to the knowledge base. So whenever I reference the content pillars, it can reference that as a document and have a look at it, which is pretty fantastic. Another thing you need to remember is that Claude 3.5 Sonnet is incredibly good at coding. So let's maybe create a pop-up for this website. So let's design a pop-up for this website and give me the code. That's all my prompt that I've set it, that I've told it. Hopefully, if it's gonna do this correctly, it's going to give me a preview of what that looks like on the right-hand side. And it's doing just that, as you can see here. There you go. I can even see my pop-up here. Um, <laughs> I can enter my email and stuff like that. Uh, if I don't like the design, I can tell it to change the design of the HTML stuff in there. A good thing would be to add all of your brand guidelines, for example, or any tone of voice documentation that you might have just so it references that. A really, really cool tool. And to be honest, one that has me using Claude a lot more than ChatGPT these days, particularly for its coding features. It's just incredible how good it is, how good it is at, at understanding the context that I'm trying to do. And the fact that I can see what I'm working on, whether that's a website or coding or a documentation on the right hand side of it just makes it pretty incredible. The only thing that it doesn't do is that it doesn't reference the information where it's getting, it doesn't reference the information that it's talking about. It just tells you everything, but that's not the end of the world. I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, it's been an absolute life changer for me and I really like this tool. And I say this coming from an open, admittedly an open AI fanboy. I've been using this more than I first initially thought I was going to use. Another thing, because you've got, because you've created the project and I don't want to develop an SEO strategy, but let's say I want to write a blog or I want to create a social media strategy for this client. Well, I can go back to the project and because it already has all the files in here, and more importantly, I've got the content pillar behavior management that I just created, the content pillars, I can now create a social media strategy with a new chat and it understand, and it's gonna source all the documentation, including the new content pillar documentation that we created. It's just, I find it such a nice, good user interface. I'm telling you, Anthropic have really released quite a beautiful tool, in my opinion, really useful. And now I can start creating my strategy, I can turn that into a document, and I can turn that into knowledge base, which the project can have. Really, really cool stuff. I really like this, but like I said in the beginning of this video, if you like all these features, but you can't be bothered paying the $20 a month, which is understandable if you don't want to, because you might not need it so much, there is a free version from Google, and that is called Notebook LM, and it's now finally available all around the world. They, were, they had it available only in the United States for a little while. And if you sign into Notebook, you can see that I've already got a couple of notebooks open and it's kind of very much the same where I can add, for example, I made a prompting guide here and I can add a lot of sources. I've got 20 sources altogether that I can add up. So depending on the file sizes of those sources, it's very similar to Claude in terms of the file input that you can put in this. And you can start typing and again, it'll tell you, it'll reference the files that you have put in this project. 
But I want to show you here, if I ask it very, very horribly, what's the best way to prompt chat to EPT, I've got the prompting guidelines from OpenAI. The interesting difference with Notebook LM, which might be a big win for a lot of people using this, is that it tells you where it's referencing the data from which if you're doing a lot of research for scientific project or school, that might be your that might be your alternative. And also it's free. I hope you liked that video. Again, if you want to check it out, go to Claude and you have to get the paid version and you can start a project here. For certain use cases, I think it's a wonderful tool, very easy to use. And the fact that you can use it with 3.5 Sonnet really makes the world of different. If you want to see more videos like this, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And also don't forget to give this video a like and a subscribe if you like this type of content. Cheers.